for this video, we're going to identify uh, parts of uh, the basal uh, nuclei. In the brain, when we speak of uh, nuclei or nucleus, we uh, are referring to uh, clusters of uh, nerve cell bodies no? that are uh, embedded in uh, the white matter uh, area or white matter uh, region of the brain. So, let me bring out the specimen. Uh, this is uh, the, the right cerebral uh, hemisphere. It was uh, sectioned coronally. No? So as you can see, we have the anterior uh, section right here, posterior section. So, normally, uh, the nerve cell bodies, no? of uh, our uh, neurons they form the gray matter no? in uh, the brain and they are uh, distributed at the periphery you can see gray matter uh, area right there of the brain and then this uh, pale area no? is uh, the white matter area or the white matter uh, region so it's mainly uh, composed of myelinated uh, fibers no? of uh, our uh, neurons. So, when we say uh, nuclei again, they are uh, gray matter uh, mass no? that are uh, embedded in the white matter region. So, medial uh, area is supposed to be white matter, but you can see no? there are uh, islands of gray, gray matter no? within the white matter region. So, that will form uh, the basal uh, nuclei. So let's go to uh, the different uh, parts. Uh, first one right here, related to uh, the lateral ventricle, that is uh, the caudate uh, nucleus. No? That's the caudate nucleus right there. This large uh, wedge shape or uh, lens shape uh, structure that is known as uh, the lentiform nucleus. No? It has uh, two parts. We have the putamen, which forms something like an outer shell. And the more medial uh, part is the uh, globus pallidus. No? And then we have the thalamus right here. No? Let me bring back the... Uh, anterior part of our so we have uh, identified parts of uh, the mid sagittal section of the brain before this is uh, the thalamus no part of the diencephalon and uh, this one should be the uh, hypothalamus no? so let's go back to uh, the cut section so the white matter that separates uh, the lentiform nucleus from the uh, thalamic nuclei that is the internal capsule and then I would like you to look uh, at the uh, lateral uh, margins of our uh, putamen right here as you can see there's a narrow strip of white matter after that there is a uh, narrow strip of uh, nuclei or gray matter also so that would be the uh, claustrum no? so the white matter out uh, lateral to the lentiform uh, nucleus lateral to the putamen that is the uh, external capsule no? internal capsule external capsule and lateral to the claustrum as you can see there's another narrow strip of white matter right there that's the extreme capsule no? right before the uh, insular cortex no? uh, we have identified the insular cortex before it's like a hidden uh, cortex no? that is accessible if you open up the uh, the uh, sylvian fissure so let's uh, zoom in on that uh, part closely so you can appreciate the uh, external capsule 
the claustrum and then we have the uh, extreme capsule before the uh, insular cortex so we also have uh, subthalamic nuclei and as you can see there's something dark down here subthalamic nuclei occupies this part it's already uh, part of uh, the midbrain supposedly and that one that dark uh, darkly pigmented uh, area right there that's a uh, substantia nigra no? it uh, produces uh, what dopamine inhibitory neurotransmitter so uh, the basal nuclei acts together with the uh, higher uh, cortical uh, neurons no? in uh, controlling our voluntary uh, movements. No? Together, they will uh, actually uh, fine-tune no? movements. No? If we have stroke and uh, the cortical neurons here are affected, uh, Fine movement is lost, but uh, if there is still a uh, function down here, uh, the person can still uh, do some uh, crude uh, movements. No? But uh, if everything is lost, then uh, there will be paralysis. No? So just uh, try to read more regarding uh, the function from your textbook. And uh, also try to check no, if uh, there are uh, discrepancies with, uh, with, with what uh, we have discussed uh, right here. So to identify uh, other structures, again, this is part of uh, the lateral ventricle. This one also, this is part of the lateral uh, ventricle, particularly the uh, inferior horn of the lateral ventricle. So... So you can see right there, there is uh, a mass of uh, capillaries, no? actually. Capillary mass uh, covered or lined by ependymal cells. That will be uh, the choroid plexus. No? No? The uh, blood vessel network uh, that uh, <coughs> where uh, CSF no? is uh, filtered no? by the... Uh, lining uh, ependymal uh, cells no? that once again is the inferior uh, horn of uh, the uh, lateral ventricle of the brain 